This week's word of the week is going to be fillet weld. Fillet weld is a type of weld that every welder needs to know. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being not that big of a deal, 10 being a huge deal, it's a 9,627,281. It's way past 10. If you're a welder and you don't know what a fillet weld is, that is not good. Now that being said, if you're brand new, you're not going to know what a fillet weld is because you're brand new, right? So we're going to explain what a fillet weld is here. I have the actual definition written right here. It's a weld of approximately triangular cross sections joining two surfaces approximately at right angles to each other in a lap joint, T-joint, or a corner joint. And I kind of summarize that right here. So you see triangle, T, lap, corner, a T-joint is, is right here. It's where two plates come together and form a T. A lap joint is where you have two uh, plates on top of each other. Corner joint is where you have two plates come up to, to meet each other at kind of a right angle. And I drew the welds in here and just put a W so that's where the welds would be on all three of those joints. Now, a fillet weld is going to have one of these three face finishes. It's going to be flat, concave, or convex. So what does that mean? I got this T-joint over here, and it's got a straight line going right there. That's the face. That's a flat face. All right. Over here, it's kind of domed up a little bit. That's your convex. And your concave is over here on the lap, where it's kind of going in a little bit. And then I got the corner over here is flat again, just going straight across. But you're going to have one of these three face finishes. And it's usually called out on the welding symbol. It'll have a line, a straight line for flat, domed up for uh, convex, or it'll go down for concave. So those are the three finishes you can have. Now, as far as the triangle goes, the flat one forms a pretty good triangle, right? But if you have this convex, what they're going to do is they're going to put a hidden line in there, and that's how they're going to calculate the weld strength of this. They're going to take the throat right out to that hidden line. They're not going to take the convexity in. Uh, if you get real fancy, you can do another triangle within the convexity, and you can get a little bit of uh, more strength out of that uh, convexity. But for the most part, they usually just take this triangle right here. That's why they're saying it's a triangular weld. And the same thing with the lap. They're not going to go all the way out here because there's no weld. So they're going to go in here and draw a hidden line to figure out the, the weld strength on the, uh, on the uh, concave one. So those are three joints that you can have a fill weld on. The three face finishes. Let's go up here and show you the parts. So this is a big T-joint here that I drew in. And I put a weld symbol over here. So the weld symbol is a triangle. That means put a fill weld in there, right? It's on the top of the line, the, the reference line, so that means go to the other side. So that's why the weld's over here instead of over here on the arrow side. Uh, parts, leg, number one. This is probably one of the most important parts because that's what you're going to measure to make sure you have the right size uh, weld on there. So the leg is right down here, one, and it's that area right there. So when they put a fill of weld size on there, so let's say it's a quarter of an inch, they're going to put a quarter of an inch right here. That means a quarter of an inch leg size. So that's very important to know what that leg is. Uh, two would be the root, and you can see I have the two over here going to the root. And usually with a fillet weld, they want the penetration to go down into here, right? So the root will actually go around like this. And they'll do a macro etch on that to make sure that the penetration is, is into that corner there. So that's why the root's very important. The face, which we kind of already talked about with the three face finishes, is three right here. That's the face. Then you have the toe. There's two toes on this. It's going to be where the face comes down and meets the base metal on each edge here. So that's the toe. And then you have the throat, which we were talking about before. There's actually uh, multiple throats. There's theoretical effect of an actual throat. And the actual throat would, would be like, well, we're taking that line, we're drawing it here, and just going right here in that triangle. Um, so hopefully that gives you a good idea of what a fillet weld is. What we'll do now is I'll go out in the, in the lab and I'll grab a T-joint so you can see a lap joint. I'll try and find a corner joint, but that's more of a, usually when you're doing corner joints, it's going into a part. You don't do uh, weld tests on corner joints, so I don't know if I have any of those kicking around, but I'll definitely show you a T-joint and a lap joint so you can get a better idea what that looks like with, with real plates. This is a 3 16 inch plate. Uh, that we welded a fillet weld onto a T-joint using the MIG process. Here's another look at that same T-joint. What we'll do now is I'll grab a lap joint and we'll uh, wrap this thing up.
this is a lap joint that was done with like pulse aluminum I believe it's eighth of an inch it's just one plate on top of the other and again the, with the fill weld out of it it forms a, a triangle so make sure you know what a fillet weld is. That's all we got for today. We're going to head out. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next time.